Welcome. Whether you speak English natively or as a second language, you've likely struggled with English spelling at some point in your education. There seems to be no small number of silent letters, weird letter combinations with even weirder pronunciations, and a whole host of so-called rules that are rife with exceptions. Why doesn't broad rhyme with road, and why do late and wait rhyme for the ear, but not for the eye? Why does O-U-G-H have so many different pronunciations, and why can the vowel sound in through be spelled in so many different ways? The complexity and inconsistency of English spelling is certainly no secret. What you may not know, however, is that alternatives have been proposed throughout history and are still being proposed today. The relative merits and feasibility of systematic spelling reform will probably be the topic for later content on this channel, but if you are at least curious, this video series will give you a taste of what could be. In a few short lessons, you will learn how to read and write in one of many alternative writing systems. Think of it as English spelling rebooted. In the early Middle Ages, Anglo-Saxon scribes adapted the Latin alphabet to write their own language, and the result was much more consistent than our current code. However, as spoken English evolved due to internal sound changes, as well as various external influences, the evolution of English spelling has failed to keep pace with that of the language it claims to represent. The fact that the printing press first arrived in England in 1476, at a time of great linguistic flux, surely didn't help matters. English vocabulary is an untidy mix of primarily Anglo-Saxon, Old Norse, Norman French, Latin, and ancient Greek roots that would have made Dr. Frankenstein proud. Imported vocabulary items were rarely respelled according to more native conventions. Essentially, multiple distinct spelling traditions are forced to coexist within the same written language. This is the cause for many of the all too conspicuous stitches on the Frankenstein monster's skin. A major factor in the transition from Middle English to Modern English was the Great Vowel Shift. This was a dramatic and systematic change in the pronunciation of vowels, which unfolded throughout the 15th, 16th, and 17th centuries. Unfortunately, spellings of the affected sounds were seldom if ever updated to reflect this shift. This means that the five vowel letters, A, E, I, O, and U, are now frequently associated with sounds that speakers of most other Latin alphabet languages would find bizarre. Restored Latinate spelling, or RLS, is Latinate only in the sense that it performs a long overdue recalibration of the traditional vowel letters and the sounds they correspond to, so that they are much more in sync with most other Latin alphabet languages. In other words, it takes the Latin alphabet and approaches modern English with roughly the same mindset as that which was applied centuries ago to Old English, though with some influence from modern linguistics. The result is hopefully a spelling system that is much simpler, much more regular, and better suited for the international use which English now enjoys as a global lingua franca. Although RLS adds six letters to the conventional 26-letter alphabet, those six additions were all selected from those available on the U.S. International Keyboard layout. This layout comes pre-installed on most household devices and can be activated within minutes. This means that most people will be able to type RLS without any specialized software or hardware. 